Okay, now that we've got our point, we're going to isolate the head. Solid snacks. 90 degrees, 90 degrees. We're just going with two angles there. And then when we get about you know, a quarter of the material that we had, we'll do nice light blows. There we go. like this you really want to make use of that heat. Don't stand around looking at it. Hit it. So I'm just going to keep on squaring this out. Okay so right now it's square so I'm setting it up so I can hit on the apex of that square. Right where it comes together I'm turning 90 and I'm counting down the length of each angle. Okay, so for this leaf, you set it up on the bias, so on the bulky part, and you just beat it like it stole something. Here we go, a little hold down tool. Pinch that, you just kind of tap that in there. Now, with the leaf, you start at the tip, the far end, and you start making your marks from there. If you start at the base of the leaf, it's, it can be really difficult to get it to line up and go right to the end of the tip. Okay, so I've done the center line. So now you start at the center line. And I'm making the veins of the leaf right now. Okay, you want to take the designs that you just carved up. I lay it down into my table. And you hit it with a ball peen hammer. So here I'm going to set it against this side of the anvil and begin pinching it off like I was isolating the head earlier. Now you don't want to kill your hammer on, on the edge there. Okay, while that tip is real hot, grab it with these pliers and bend it right over. It's got to be really hot too because it's a very small piece. Don't want to break it. So we've got that one. Bend it the other way. Okay, so here goes my other bend. And it's going the opposite direction. Okay, so we got it hot. This is beeswax. Beeswax will give you a real nice, I'm going to stay below this smoke here that's toxic, um, gives you a real nice whew, antique look. So this is our finished product.